let's move on to the different classification of sources. So, yung sources po natin can either be a voltage source or a current source. Pag sinabi natin voltage source, voltage yung sinusupply niya. Kung current source, ibig sabihin, kuryente yung isusupply niya. Yung ating voltage and current source, they may be further classified whether they are independent or dependent sources. Ano yung difference? Kapag independent yung source natin, constant yung voltage or current. The source, the ideal independent source, will maintain same voltage or current regardless kahit ano pa ang mga elements na nakalagay dun sa circuit natin. So, pwede yung sources natin, they can be DC or AC, at yung value ng voltage at yung value ng current, hindi yan magbabago kahit pa nagkakaroon ng variations or pagbabago dun sa circuit. Example, It could be an independent voltage source or an independent current source. How do we identify the difference? Kung siya ay independent source, normally bilog po yung schematic. Whether voltage or current yan. Except dito, di ba, sa ating battery. Alam natin, batteries are already independent voltage sources. Kasi, kapag gumagamit tayo ng battery... Kung ano man yung rating ng battery natin, let's say 1.5 volts yon kahit pa anong ikabit mo dyan mga bulbs or components or LEDs, LED LED bulbs, pag kinabit mo siya dun sa ating um, battery, hindi nagbabago yung sinusupply ng battery natin unless ma-discharge yung battery mo. Okay? So, kung independent voltage source siya, bilog kong independent, at positive-negative signs are present. So, pag nakakita ka ng positive and negative terminals, ibig sabihin, voltage source yon Pero kung ang makikita mo ay arrow naman, bilog yan, independent, yes. Pero kung arrow naman yung nakalagay, ibig sabihin, current source naman yun. Kung positive-negative voltage, kung arrow, current. Kung bilog, independent. So, this is an independent voltage source, which is DC. And the other one is an independent voltage source, which is... AC. So, an example natin ng independent voltage source na AC, yung ating um, convenience outlet sa bahay. So, kahit pa gano karaming appliances yung open sa bahay natin, hindi nagbabago or as much as possible na maintain pa rin yung 220 volt supply dun sa ating convenience outlet. For our independent current source naman, you have here a circle and an arrow. A circle indicates independent, an arrow indicates a current source. So, you have two current sources here. The difference is, this one is AC because of the um, small letter or a lowercase representation of the variable I, which means current. And this one is DC kasi nakakapital letter or naka-uppercase yung ating variable I, which represents again current. So, example of our current sources are constant current diodes. They, su they supply constant current. It is a diode that supplies constant current. And it could be a lead constant current source, power supply, driver. Ganito yung itsura niya. For dependent sources naman, of course, opposite to independent. Si independent, constant or minimaintain niya yung rating ng sources natin, kapag dependent naman po, it's not always constant because the value of the source depend upon a certain particular element in the circuit. Okay, so you have different kinds of dependent sources. Pwede siyang voltage source or pwede siyang current source. So, yung voltage sources mo, pwede siyang controlled ng voltage Or, yung voltage source mo, pwede siyang controlled ng current. Yung iyong current source naman, pwede controlled ng voltage also, pwede controlled ng current. So, if you have a voltage-controlled voltage source, paano mo malalaman muna na dependent source siya? So, in this illustration, you have here an independent source, which is a voltage source. This one is your dependent source. So, obviously, kapag dependent, diamond naman, yung itsura ng schematic natin. At alam natin na voltage source yan kasi naka-positive and negative terminals siya. So, kung siya ay dependent voltage source, voltage ang ibibigay niya. Yan nakalagay dito, voltage controlled siya. Paano mo malalaman na voltage controlled yung ating um, dependent source? Because of this notation. So, kaya siya tinawag na dependent source kasi yung value po ng voltage source mo ay nakadepende sa Kagaya dito, nakadepende siya kay Vx, 
ano, you have your AV, X, what does A mean? A can be a representation of any constant or multiplier. Halimbawa, ito ay 5. VX ang nakalagay. 5 VX. Ibig sabihin, kung ano man yung value ni VX, multiply mo yun ng 5, yun yung value ng voltage controlled voltage source natin. So, paano ba natin malalaman si VX? Hanapin mo yung element kung saan nakatap si VX. And in this simple circuit, you have a resistor here with a tapping terminals of positive and negative Vx. Ibig sabihin, kung ano daw yung voltage na maririd natin sa resistor, kung ano man yung voltage dito, multiply mo lang yun ng constant natin, sabi natin 5, yun yung magiging rating ng voltage ng ating dependent source. So, if this is, example, 5 volts din, pag, pagkabit mo ng voltmeter dito, 5 volts ulit yung reading, Now, you have po constant 5 dito times 5 volts reading, 25 yon. Ibig sabihin, yung i-output ng dependent source mo, 25 volts. You have a, an output of voltage, whose value is dependent on voltage also. Okay, next type is voltage-controlled current source. So, obviously, this is a dependent source kasi siya ay diamond. Alam mo na current ang output niyan because of the presence of the arrow. So, ito ay current source which means kuryente ang isusupply niya. Pero, kahit pa kuryente ang isusupply niya, yung value niya nakadepende sa magnitude ng voltage ulit. Based on this um, notation. So, yung E yung dependent source na to, ang value niya ay BVX. B is again a constant. Let's say, ang constant naman ngayon natin ay 3. So, 3 times daw ni VX. Ano ba si VX? Si VX ay hahanapin natin sa circuit. Nakatap siya kay resistor. In short, Voltage na naman yun ni resistor R. So, kung ano man ang voltage ni resistor R, ta times lang natin yun ng B, ang sabi natin kanina ay 3. So, 3 times kung ano mang voltage yun, yun yung magiging value ng dependent current source natin. So, let's say, 5 volts ulit yung reading natin dito. Ano nga po, you will have here 3 times 5 volts, that's 15. But, in this case, we only use magnitude of the dependent The elements we are dependent. Ano? Magnitude lamang hindi kasama ang unit. So, you have 3 times 515. Since current source to, magiging ampere yung value. Ibig sabihin, kuryente yung output ng dependent source mo. Yung value nga lang niya, naka... Parang yung value nga lang niya, affected by the magnitude of the voltage in this resistor. Kaya siya tinawag na voltage-controlled current source. Kinokontrol siya ng voltage na to, pero ang ina-output niya, kuryente pa din. Okay? Next, current controlled current source. So, you have here a current source ulit, dependent, diamond, arrow, current. So, you have dependent current source, which is current controlled. Based on this notation, you have Cix, C is a constant again, times Ix, where Ix, based on the circuit, represents to what? The current that flows through the loop. So, ito daw, kuryenteng to, yung kuryente nagpo-flow dito. Diba? Itong kuryenteng to, kung ano man yung value ng current na yan, Imumultiply lang natin yan ng constant multiplier natin and the output would be a current source na. So, let's say, ang constant natin, balik tayo kay 5. This is 5Ix. Let's say, ang reading natin kay Ix ay 3 amperes. So, 5 times 3 amperes, magiging 15 ampere yung value ng dependent current source natin. So, current yung output niya at yung value niya ay nakadepende sa kuryente din sa circuit. Lastly, you have current controlled voltage source. So, this is a dependent source, diamond, and voltage siya because of the presence of positive and negative terminals. But, according to the notation, yung value ng voltage source mo, nakadepende ulit sa kuryente. So, you have Dix here. D is a constant, a random constant ulit. And Ix is a current, which we will look for in the circuit. It is the current that flows through this line. So, kung ano man yung reading ng current dito, multiply lang natin ng constant multiplier natin, that will give you your current-controlled voltage source. So, let's say, ang ating constant multiplier ay 5 ulit. Favorite natin yan, di ba? <laughs> Tapos, ang reading ng ating current, ng ating ammeter, for example, ay 3 amperes sa linyang to. So, 5 times 3 amperes, That would be 15, but since voltage source to, we will omit ampere and we'll have it as volts. So, 3 times 5, that would be 15 volts dahil voltage source ito. So, ang i-output niya ay voltage. And there you have it, the four different types of sources. 
So, example, na ginagamit natin na dependent sources are MOSFET and operational amplifiers. So, ito yung itsura ng MOSFET natin. They can be modeled as voltage-controlled current source. So, pwede itong mag-supply ng kuryente. Tapos, yung value ng current mo nakadepende sa voltage ng isang element sa circuit. Kung operational amplifiers naman, ganito yung itsura ng op amps natin, they can be modeled naman as voltage source naman, voltage yung output niya, at yung value niya ay controlled ng differential input voltage sa input terminal. So, kung yung input terminal mo, nag iba iba yung voltage niya, or kung ano man yung difference ng voltage dun sa input terminals mo, yun yung magko-control dun sa value ng voltage na ibibigay ng op amp natin, or operational amplifier.